trying to explain the new Saxon and the Heroes, the imprint helmet. So basically, um, basically what it is, is if you click on it, there is a rule section up here that explains it. But basically what it allows you to do is use heroes that you have sort of maxed or got fairly far up the rank and um, skill level and use them to mentor a, a hero that is of a lesser level. So it can bring them up to three levels in rank and three levels on their on their skill set, okay? Um, this would be a lot better for people who have one really good hero and are maybe looking to max up another one on the same type. So basically this is the screen that it takes you to. As you'll see here at the bottom, you get, you're getting a seven day free trial. Um, and I presume it's gonna cost money to unlock it. Yeah, it's 9.99 then they unlock it permanently. So you have a benefactor and a beneficiary. So this is only allowed for legendary heroes and it's only for heroes that have a troop set type. So infantry, tank and artillery. Okay, so if we click on it here, we'll see. Right, so what I'm gonna do as an example is I have Violet Max, okay, so you'll see five star general and she's all 10 skills done. Okay, so, so what I would suggest, what I'm gonna do here, the Benefactory then, Orlov is a really good infantry hero, but it's an absolute nightmare to try and get parts for. So, as you can see here, she is going to gain all three skills and three stars on her rank as well. So, I mean, it costs 500 Talak to do this one. So, I mean, that's not bad because I have loads of Talak. But obviously, if you don't have Talak, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But let's see what happens then when we click the 500. So, do you want to spend the 500 Talak? Yes, I do. And out the back, Orlov becomes a three-star general and has her skills at four, 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 and eight. Okay. Um, so, let's go back. And let's check to make sure that that has actually happened. So as you'll see, now they're blue. I don't know if that's blue. I mean, I don't know if that means when the seven day free trial is up, does that go back? Um, I don't know. Um, we'll find that out after seven days. Okay, so, but you'll see now she's a three star general. Okay, and her skills are four, 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 and eight. Okay, um, I would suggest you do that with um, heroes that you want to put on your titans and not just a, a, a silly old one. So if I take, for example, Samuel or see the problem is I'm a, a lot further on and I've had these heroes for a long time. So, I mean, all I'm going to, I believe it only allows you to go to one below whatever the hero you're using as a benefactor. So, I mean, if I use somebody for, for Samuel here, he's already maxed channel, so he's not going to get anything there. I'm probably going to get one on the first one, three on the second one, none on the third one. And another three on the other one again it'll be down to you to pick the heroes that you want to do to use um and yeah i mean it, it's a lot better than i thought it was originally i thought it was just xp but no this is what it is now i imagine knowing this game probably after the seven days to see the free trial that's why they're blue they're probably going to go back to normal um it's up to you then, nine ninety nine to unlock it permanently and have that increase. I mean, that would cost you a fortune to do that for Orlaf, you know, alone on her own. Um, so in my opinion, nine ninety nine probably worth it to keep that permanently then. Um, so again, as I show that to you, so it's imprint helmet. So it's in your hero section. So down here, bottom left, heroes, imprint helmet, and then obviously you choose your beneficiary and your. Sorry, benefactor and beneficiary. So then again, just hit the wee triangle here and you can change it to whoever you want. Um, I Probably if you've used them once, you're probably not going to be able to use them again. Let me see. So I have Vanger maxed as well, okay? Um, so if I go to... Oh, I can actually use him, her again. Oh no, so it's not. So see, see the way it doesn't show any extra here in Orlov? It would seem that I can't use her again. Let's see if I take her out. And we put her back in. Oh, no, okay. So let's put Vanguard in there and put Orloth in here. No, see, she's not going to increase any, so it seems you can only do it once per hero. So let me see, so my Naru isn't great. Okay, so I'll, I'll use I'll use Vanguard to upgrade Naru a wee bit, um, and then I'll get a Naru tank one. So again, it's 500. Hit the confirm button. Confirm. And there we go. He's up to three star general and I've got a five, four, four, nine. Okay. Um, so there you'll see, you see the last one? 
it is only one before the last one so i only got two on the last one there as you'll see it went from seven to nine as opposed to ten which is a max so it's one below whatever hero you use as than a factor um yeah so the max you're ever going to get is nine there and then probably up to four star general okay guys i hope that helps um obviously this video is longer so i'm gonna to have to put it on youtube i will put the link obviously in our dc in the tips and tricks any questions then after that you can um let me know thanks